so far we discussed about the universal law of gravitation relationship between capital G and small g law of gravitation formulas centripetal forces some numericals based on freely falling body body pressed upwards and we discuss a weightlessness condition now if you take any body we know that every body has weight that weight is acting towards the ground now my question is that from which part of that body the weight is acting towards the ground let me clear there is a truck the truck have wheels like this it's very big truck loaded truck and if you see this truck the truck has weight you know that truck has weight means truck has some of the weights of wheels the front part the back part and any thing is loaded inside so weight of the truck is nothing but weight of the wheels plus weight of the front part plus weight of the back part plus weight of the material which is lifting which is carrying so the total weight is the weight of the truck we say now if we ask you that in which direction the weight of the wheels are acting means simply say that the wheels weight acting towards ground in this way now this way it is acting in this way the the front part acting in this way the back part acting in this way this material acting in this way so each and every part weight always acting towards the ground only but here here you have so many weights acting towards the ground so to make it simple what physics people has done instead of taking the weight directions in different different locations of the body they said that total weight of the truck concentrate at one point inside the truck and from that point the total weight act towards the ground and that point is called center of gravity say this is the center point where whole the weight is concentrated and from that point the total weight of the truck acts downwards and this point is called cg which is called center of gravity and it is correct i will tell you how so i told you that the total weight of the truck acting at one point from that point the total weight acts towards the ground and that point is called center of gravity see this pen this is single pen single body but imagine that this is part 1 this is part 2 this is part 3 so part 1 weight acts downwards part 2 weights downwards part 3 also acts downwards so each and every part has weights three weights acting downwards so i want to balance this pen with my finger believing that even though the pen has three parts three weights acting downwards but one point is there where total weight of the pen acting in that from that point towards the ground suppose think that if i think this is the point where the total weight acts if it is correct the pen has to be balanced should not fall but it is falling so this is not the point suppose if you keep the finger here imagining that the total weight of the pen is acting here see this one it is also falling so now i move the finger such a manner that i want to check where i can't make the pen to fall now see this one the pen is not falling it is balanced so at this point the total weight of the pen is acting and that weight is balanced by force applied by finger so this point is called center of gravity so for each and every body there is a point where total weight acts on it similarly the truck also the from this point the total weight acts it's called center of gravity so the definition of center of gravity is it is a point where total weight of the body is concentrated is concentrated and center of gravity location is different for different shaped bodies generally regular bodies finding center of gravity is simple because 
See this example. Take a circle. It's not a circle. It's a disc. You have mass inside. It's a disc. Circular disc. And if I ask that what is the center of gravity of circular disc? It's very simple. The center of the center of the, of the disc is the center of gravity. Take a rectangular box. What is the center of gravity? It is nothing but intersection of the diagonals of the rectangle. This is the center of gravity. Take a square. What is the center of gravity? Same answer. Intersection of the diagonals. So this is disc. This is rectangle. This is square. Take a spear. Spear is also in a circular shape. Spear, three-dimensional body. So, where is the center of gravity? Obviously, the center of gravity is inside the body. Inside. Take a cork ball. The cricket, we use cork ball. Inside the cork ball, the center of gravity exists. Disc on the surface is exist. If you take a ring, ring is just like a circle. Inside, there is no mass. Then where will the center of mass? Surprisingly, the center of mass is inside only. So, if this is the ring, the center of mass exists here. So, it is exactly outside of the circumference, but exactly the center of the ring here exists. So, all these are regular bodies. Now, my question is that, how do you find the center of gravity for irregular bodies?